Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 9, palindrome number. This problem is given an integer x, return true if x is a palindrome, and false otherwise. We're given three examples. Example 1, our input is 121, and our output is true, as 121 is a palindrome. Example 2, our input is negative 121, and this is false, as negative 121 reversed is 121, then a negative sign. So for this problem, all negatives will be returning false. And then example three, our input is 10. So our output is false because 10 backwards is one. So let's take a look at an example. For this example, our input is negative 1,234. And for this, our output will be false. And all negative numbers are not a palindrome. So we can return false always for a negative number. Now let's take a look at a positive number example. And for an example like this, what we're going to want to do is take our input, reverse it, and then check to see if our reverse number is equal to our original number. This is very similar to problem number seven, where we had to reverse an integer. So we'll keep track of our reverse number and start that off as zero. So what we're going to want to do is loop through our number and take each digit and add it to our reverse number in reverse order. So we can do that by taking our reverse number, multiplying it by 10, and then adding our number modulus 10 to it and what the modulus is is the it's the percent sign and what it does is it takes the first digit divides it by the second digit and outputs the remainder so this will take our ones digit each time so in this case it'll be 0 plus 4 equals 4 and now that we've used the 4 from our number we want to remove it by just dividing by 10 and then we can repeat this for each digit so next would be 3 we pull that out now we have 43 then we want to do it for the 2 pull that out 432 and then we do it for the one, and now we have 4,321. And now that we have our reverse number, we can check to see if it's equal to our original number. And since they're not equal, we just return false. Let's jump into the code. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is check to see if our input is less than zero, which means it's negative. And if it is, we just return false right away. Next, we'll wanna define some variables. We'll have our reverse number and set that equal to zero to start. Then we'll have a temp variable, which will be equal to x, and that'll just be used to reverse into our reverse number, so that at the end of looping through our original number, we can compare it to x at the end to see if it was a palindrome or not. Now we can loop through our number, and as long as it's greater than zero, we want to continue to loop. And we can calculate our reverse number by doing our reverse number times 10 plus our temp value modulus 10. And then we'll want to remove the digit we just used, and we can do that by doing temp divided by 10. And we're using the two division signs here just to round down each time. That's it for looping. So now we want to compare our new reverse number to our original input of x. And if they're equal, we want to return true. And if they're not equal, we want to return false. That's it for the code, so let's run this. All three cases passed, so let's submit. Our code was accepted, so that's it for this problem. If you like this content and want to see more videos like this, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.